Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday, 617 right now, and we are tracking our temperatures here in the Southland. A little bit mild this morning and a little bit different than yesterday. So we do have the clouds overhead. We don't really have too much of the drizzle, but we could still see some patchy drizzle. But let's take a look at the other side of the country where they're dealing with temperatures in the 70s and 80s right now. All eyes also on what's happening near the Yucatan Peninsula, and that's because we are tracking Hurricane Grace, which is a Category 1 hurricane at the moment with winds anywhere from 75 miles per hour hour and then it's trekking a little bit more to the west. So it is going through the Yucatan Peninsula and then it starts to lose some steam. But once it heads back toward the Gulf Coast, it will start to pick up some strength and turn back into a category one hurricane as we head into tomorrow afternoon. So this is something that we are watching very closely. Otherwise, if you're staying put here in the Southland, not much going on. As I mentioned, we're in that transition phase because we had that low pressure system to the north of us that brought us a cooler, cloudier weather yesterday. We're waking up to clouds this morning, even Riverside looking at temperatures in the upper 60s with some cloud cover overhead. Our temperatures will remain below average from now till tomorrow. We'll have a little bit more of that strong sea breeze. Marine layer should be returning each night and morning. And then we're looking at much warmer conditions. So get ready for some very hot temperatures by the time we head into next week. Here's that low pressure system. So it is still moving out of here. That's why our temperatures will stay cooler than normal. But in fact, our highs will be a little bit warmer than yesterday. And then by the end of the weekend, this high pressure system coming in from the southwest will really start to expand. And it looks like this high will pretty much stay put at least until the end of the month. So this is something that we're also watching very closely because that means we're going to end the month with temperatures well above average. But for now, we're looking at some cooler weather. So enjoy it. 76 for the coast, 81 for LA and Orange County Metro mid 80s for the valleys a little cooler in some spots tomorrow and then we start to warm right back up again as we head toward the end of the weekend we're talking 70s 80s 90s as a high pressure system gets closer and then by the middle part of next week Wednesday we're also looking at those triple digit temperatures resurfacing again for a lot of our inland communities but today inland empire topping out at 87 and then we're dealing with temperatures in the upper 80s for the high deserts before going to the 90s tomorrow and then for the mountains 70s today and then by the end of the week mid 70s holding steady through the weekend and then by the start of next week that's when the upper 70s arrive and then low 80s for the mountains on Wednesday. Back to you guys.